Never mind. It's a video of a bunch of French people in a bookstore reading poetry, I think. Look. Mesdames et Monsieur, un poème par ma incroyable copine. Allez, autour. La nuit des neiges. Tu me trouves sur la montagne, perdu. Whole thing's in French. Dans la neige. She always wanted to learn French. Sur la même neige. Do you speak French? La même souvenir. No. I have very Are you all right? Poems about me. I always thought I'd know what I was going to say. I read your poem. Which one? How many have you written? I have a whole book of them coming out this fall. Really? Uh, -huh. uh well done. You always said you wanted to be a poet. Oh, I've always been a poet. I just didn't know it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you mean to uh, do that? What? I, you just said know it and poet and... <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not following. And I learned so much from you, Oliver. But the biggest thing I learned, the biggest thing, was that if you want to be a grown-up, you got to be your own hero. I'm sorry. Huh? I don't understand how leaving your husband at the Pony Express exhibit at the National Postal Museum can be considered heroic. Oh. Well, heroes can be cowards. What? I have no idea what you're talking about. See? That's it. You leave us alone in a car with only the two of us to heat each other up and we communicate just fine, but talking with actual words, we were never very good at that, which is why it's so amazing that in the past two years I've really learned to express myself. In two languages, apparently. Can you use one of them now to tell me why you came back? I wrote a poem about us last night. Oh. Um, before you read it, I want to say how sorry I am that I took so long to come back. I shouldn't have waited, but the longer I waited, the further away the road home seemed. But I'm here now, and uh, I just hope that we can... I don't... <sighs> Should I read it? 